According to the Corruption Perception Index of Transparency International, uh, Latin America has always been a region with very high levels of corruption, to the point that many talk about structural systemic corruption. Nevertheless, in the past years, some very interesting things have started to happen. Corruption has been a problem in the Americas for centuries, uh, but we think that something new, different, and really historic uh, is happening in the region right now. There's a new generation of judges, prosecutors, and activists who are cracking down on graft and fraud and who are sending people to jail, uh, no matter how powerful they are. America's Quarterly chose five corruption busters, uh, people who we thought are the leaders in their field of, of really attacking this problem of graft. If you see what happens in Guatemala, where the former president and vice president are in prison because of the work of the CICIC and the mobilizing of the people, and then what is happening in Brazil, where a courageous group of uh, prosecutors are conducting a huge investigation of corruption regarding uh, Petrobras and construction companies, and what in these days is happening in Honduras, where the OAS has decided to establish a type of CSIC commission in order to investigate and prosecute cases of corruption and organized crime. This uh, reflects a trend in the region in order to confront corruption. En América Latina hay un nuevo aire que impulsa la lucha contra la corrupción y es el interés de la sociedad que más continuamente viene participando, eh, como ha ocurrido en Guatemala a partir especialmente del 25 de abril del 2015. La ciudadanía ha comenzado a asumir un rol de verdadera fiscalización y demandas sociales legítimas en un marco de respeto a la legalidad y a la institucionalidad. And what's really amazing to me is that in Brazil, in Guatemala, in many other countries, the story is the same. I mean, the role of social media, the fact that middle classes are growing, judicial institutions are gaining greater independence because democracies are maturing as well. I mean, you look one place and another, sometimes in countries that don't have much in common, but yet these trends uh, all apply. Probably this is happening because uh, corruption has changed. Now we are talking about grand corruption. And when we talk about grand corruption, we are talking of that type of wrongdoing that has an impact on the fundamental human rights. This trend that we are experiencing in the region is, is a trend of hope that things are starting to change, even in countries with such a difficult environment like Honduras or Guatemala. Uh, and Brazil. So uh, if, if things can improve significantly in these countries, I am sure they can also improve in the rest of the countries of the region. <laughs>